Yo, what up? All right, so we got a Nissan Versa here with um, loss of power issue. Customers say that they were driving and the vehicle, they started to lose power, especially when they accelerate. So I came here and I did a quick scan. Sorry about the light. I got a P. Let me see if I can get this zoom in. Sorry about the light. I got a P0304 code, which is cylinder misfire. Right, let's see how the vehicle is behaving. Let me start it up. Right, we, it could be anything from a, a mechanical problem to an injector problem or a coil problem, right? So, it's not something too bad, like a dead mess. Probably just like intermittent, right? So, I'm gonna put my analyzer on it real quick. Yeah, let me get this out. I'm gonna just look at the waveform to see what's happening. All right, cool, that's number two. Number three, it's number four. So is it open in the coil or is it open in the spark plug? Not sure. This is number one. Let me get you to the name. All right, probably I gotta snap the the throttle to put it on the load. Right, it could be a dead miss. I'm not sure. Alright. It do scare the vehicle is shaking up. So what I'm gonna do first since this coil is real easy to get to, I'm just gonna pop it out and take a inspect it before I do any you know like relative compression tests and all that good stuff. Right, so let me just, um, let's just come by the muffler. I'm smelling a lot of hydrocarbon. You actually hear the vehicle puffing, making a lot of, like, a misfire. And the check light is on. Right, so let's take this engine off so it don't get too hot. And I'm going to go and pop all that coil. I'm not gonna do a switcheroo. I have a spare coil and a plug in my vehicle, so I'm just gonna pop that out real quick and change it out and see if that um, that helps. If not, then I'll go after probably compression or um, more injectors or something like that, but I believe it's not something like a dead mist, like you know if the, it, and it actually cranks real good, so it's not a, I don't think it's compression issue. Sound like it's just probably a failed coil or a failed plug or something like that. So let me just pop this one off. And as I say, it's kind of hard to do switcheroo, which I'm not going to do. I'm just going to get one out of the truck and change it out. All right, so just give me a minute. Let me get out my tools. All right, so what I'm going to do first is remove this, these two screws here, these two Phillips screws, so I can drop this solenoid out from here. All right. Let's pull this out real quick. It's just a O-ring behind it. And I'm gonna get to this 10 bolt here and I'm gonna remove this jack here. All right, so what we're gonna do is just unjack this coil here. All right, as I said, we're gonna unjack the solenoid, pull it to the side, crack this 10 nut right here. As I say, fellas, I'm just working in the night. You know what I do. Um, not everybody get me to do this though <laughs> you know but um yeah so i'm gonna just pull it out real quick you just turn it to the side i'm glad it's number four and not anything else so if you notice there you see how that coil has carbon tracking on it yeah this coil is going through so if i'm changing the coil i'm going to change the plug also right let me put the light on probably you'll see it better all right, so you see that burnt mark there? That is called a damaged coil where the current is seeping through and going to the block. So I'm gonna change the spark plug also. All right, this coil is bad. I got a fresh coil there. I put, always put my dates on, on the coil. Yeah, so I'm gonna pull out the spark plug also. I'm gonna change them out because as I said, I don't just change the coil only, I change the plug because most likely you end up 
coil is weak, the spark plug is also get weakened, and vice versa. So to avoid comebacks, do it right and done. I got some um, plugs here, some fresh plugs. I got a fresh coil. I'm just gonna pop this one out. Right, just one coil, one plug. And that's what I'm gonna change. I'm not changing anything else. Let's see. Oh, oh let me let me just come off the light a little bit. So you notice the where the coil also um, burn. That's also where the spark plug burn. You see that burn mark? So this spark plug not no good either, right? So I'm just gonna pop in a fresh one. Right, it's right here. You see? So basically, the current was seeping through and arcing off in the head of the engine and causing the misfire also, right? So you want all the spark right that generate through the coil to sorry to go through the, the coil through the stem and straight to the spark plug yes this coil pack still will have some life in it you just gotta change out the boot i don't have those boots so i'm just gonna change out the complete thing and call that a wrap right it's late in the night i'm not gonna go through all that over no coil pack right so what we got here is a 40 um, plug and 40 coil that creating the misfire right so i'm just gonna pop on this new one right i'm gonna just pop on this new one take your time and put it in you don't drop it in because you end up damaging the spark plug and closing the gap right or even cracking the um ceramic around it you just basically whatever you did to remove the coil on the plug you just reverse it so i'm just gonna run it down real quick um i'm gonna boil you all this stuff so i'm gonna just mount everything back up and then i'm gonna um play the code and scan it make sure that the vehicle is up and running again and that should be it so this was a quick one because it happened on number four if it was like number three and number one and two oh man i would have to take off the intake manifold and the trailer body and all that just to get to this all right so it was a quick video just to show you how i diagnose um the vehicle that have a misfire right quick and easy on a nissan versa right this is number four coil number one is closer to the belt right so yeah thanks for watching hope you like what you saw all right so what i like to do before i put the coil in i like to put a little dab of the, the electric grease on the circumference of the coil right that just help not, not much just a little bit come on zoom Right, that is to help assist the so you don't get stuck when it's time to remove the coil. Right, and you just put it on. I just wiggle it around a little bit, right? So you don't get the coil don't get stuck on the spark plug. So this this um Comatech dielectric grease is not a conductor for electricity, so you can use it on like anything for electrical right so I'm just gonna put it back put a little bit around the circumference of the, the coil tighten it down and that's it right so I'm gonna reverse um, all, all I did and then I'm just gonna scan the car and clear the code start the vehicle up and all should be well so I got everything buttoned up right put back on the solenoid the, um, the hose the vent hose the plug back in the coil right and let's start this vehicle up real quick and see what's going on get, get the key sorry about the noise in the background I have no control over that matter of fact I'm not going to start the vehicle up I'm just going to clear this code real quick as I said I'm using the top down um, tool real quick let's come out of here let's erase the codes yes I know it's kind of hard not to see I'm gonna go right up on it all right make sure this off all right so I'm going to erase the code real quick it was a p0304 code all right so it has been cleared let's come out of there 
right you're going back and read the code right so no fault codes right so we're going to start the vehicle up again and take this light off start the vehicle up right so we got no check light on right we're not hearing no misfire so we're gonna go back on the with the analyzer and the recoil. And that right for so try number three. Try about the light. Try number one. And you can listen to the vehicle. It doesn't sound like it's not fine anymore. Let's go back on number four. Alright, so we're going to call that a fix. Alright, so matter of fact, let's change the view and do a comparison. I'm going to clear that. This is number four. Alright, so that's going up to like 3 milliseconds. Let's go to number hold up. Let's go to number one. Alright, almost same, that's cool. Let's go to number three. Sitting, sitting right on top. Alright. They basically all the same, right? So this is that's how I diagnose these vehicles real quick. On the go, right? So what we did, we placed the coil. I'm gonna switch your engine off because I got some other things to do. Since I'm here, the customer requests that I, um, you know, check through the cough and I don't want to get it hot. So, yeah. So if you have any comments, you can make sure and just leave it at the bottom of the video. I hope you like what you see. Um, sorry about the noise in the background. I'm just basically working well, late at night the in the um, I can't do nothing about that I have no so control over that done, right? so, so thanks for watching till next time right, the, the tools that like, you see in the video is share, on comment my link right, you can hit stay it, easy be safe out there channel. Right, yeah. and till next time take it easy